Hello everyone, it is Wednesday and it is our time for our free virtual class. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad you all are here. Um, I can't wait to get started. So, just a couple things. Um, I mentioned several times this adhesive pouch. Um, you can get this for $29 if you purchase um, or if you take advantage of one of the kits. Uh, this class that we're doing today, I am waiving the shipping fee on this. Um, you have your choice of teal, pink, white, orange, or black. Um, in here you get full brand new packages, liquid glue, mini glue dots, stamp and seal. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And some dimensionals. I'm just going to grab a drink of water here. Oh my goodness. <coughs> so sorry. Anyways, you can get this beautiful pouch for $29. Um, you can add it on. I do have all the information in the link attached to this video. So be sure to check that out. Um, when you order it, there is a link and you just let me know which color you would like. If you do not let me know, you will get a black or a white one automatically. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So the bundle we are focusing on today is Circle Sayings. In the bundle, you get this really pretty stamp set, and you also get this punch. Uh, it, is, it is a circle punch. It is two and three eighths. It works fabulous with all these circle stamps. It's awesome. I'm going to show you how to use them. So let's get crafting. Let's start with our first card. All right. We have three cards that we're making. In the kit, you get to make a total of six. So you do get a lot of cards. All right. So we have all our pieces here. We have a piece of basic white cardstock. All we are doing here is simply folding this in half. All right. Then I took a piece of the gray granite. We're going to add this to a piece of our blueberry bushel. So I am kind of focusing on the newer colors that are in our core color group. So we will add it to this. So we'll just grab our stamp and seal. And we'll glue that down. I'm so glad you all are here. Please uh, stick a comment out there. Let me know that you're here. Let me know where you're from. I love to see where everybody is from. All right, so we have a piece of designer series paper. Now, yes, it is in a rect or in a triangle. When you get this pack of paper, it is six by six. Um, the stripes go kind of on an angle, but for my card, I wanted it to go straight. So this was kind of the backwards way, best way. I don't know how you, whatever you want to call it. I want my stripes to go somewhat straight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive halfway on here. We're going to grab our paper trimmer. If you can think of a better way to do this, <laughs> please let me know. I'm like, how on earth? Probably could have tried trimming it out, but all right. So I want the sides of the triangle to meet at the bottom here. So just like that. All right, then I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. I know this is probably the goofiest way to do this, but in my little head, this is kind of what I thought. <laughs> so I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to trim it out. I'm going to make sure that my base cardstock is straight. 
So just following the lines. Take that piece out. Now this side will be easy because we're just going to put it right at the bottom. Line up our cardstock. Hello, Alice. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to have a lot of fun. All right. So this was my attempt at making some waves. All right. So then what we will do is we will take a piece of basic white cardstock and we're going to stamp right now. So we'll just lay this flat. And we're going to stamp our image before we punch it out. So I'm going to grab our blueberry bushel. Such a pretty blue. So it's just a very deep, rich, royal type blue. So we're going to juice that up. Just going to put it right in the center, just like that. Clean that off real quick. All right. And I don't need this anymore. Then what we're going to do is take our, while the ink is still a little moist, take our Wink of Stella and juice that up. Now I'm just rubbing over the waves. Now you can see because I used a color, the Wink of Stella is picking up the stamped color if that makes sense. So if you use this on the Memento Black, it does not pull. It doesn't pull the black color. So I wanted to put a little color in my waves. And of course, add some sparkle. Everybody loves sparkle. All right, so you can see the shimmer. Now I'm going to grab I'm not going to use the one that comes in the bundle on this card. I'm going to use, what am I using? The two inch. Now when I punch, a, or yeah, when I punch out my images, I always do it upside down so I can see where it's lining up. Because I want it a little smaller. There, so we have that. And then I punched out, I, th I think it's Lovely Label. I'm not exactly sure the name of it. I'm so bad with the names. So this is the punch. I like this because it's bigger than the circle. So I'm just going to attach these two. Just going to use our adhesive. Super simple. I like quick, easy, simple cards. All right, so we have that. Now what we're going to do before we attach this to our card base, we're going to take some linen thread. And again, in your kits, um, you, you will get the embellishments, you will get um, the twine, the linen thread, the ribbon, there's, there's ribbon in this project. So I'm just gonna go around three times just like that, take my scissors and trim. And now you can always move your ribbon. You can always slide it up or down. I think I'm gonna go up a little bit. There we go. And if you are joining me on the replay, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, Alice, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate that. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Thank you. And I see Janetta's on here. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so we have this. Now we're going to take some dimensionals. 
you've watched my videos before, you know I absolutely love dimensionals. So because I use them so often, not going to lie, I did try getting like the cheaper ones from the dollar store. Yeah, I will not do that again. Let me tell you. They either didn't stick or they came loose after, I don't know, a couple days. It just wasn't my thing. All right. So now we are going to stamp our label. So we need that scrap paper that we punched out our design. And let's add our sentiment. So again, lay your photopolymer down flat on the table. Find the stamp that closest fits the size because you don't want it getting all wobbly. I'm going to take some gray granite that matches our paper. And I'm going to cut just right, or stamp right at the bottom here. All right, that was straight-ish. And we are going to trim this out. So I'm going to grab my trimmer again. I could try and do it freehand, but my freehand kind of stinks when it's straight lines. <laughs> Even though it's small, it just doesn't quite look right. So you can do it freehand if, if you want. But I love this paper trimmer. I think it's only like 25 bucks in the catalog. So that's not too bad. It's either 20, 25 or 30, I'm not sure. For me, it is well loved. All right. So then, of course, more dimensionals. The next card I'm going to show you is a really cool trick with the Wink of Stella. All right. So we're just going to attach our sentiment right here. And I'm going to show you something awesome. So if you take your, just the rhinestone basic gems, you can make them match any color that you want. So I'm going to take my, take your pick tool. I'm going to put these on here. And let's say we'll do a bigger one down here. Okay. So this is pretty in and of itself. But what you can do is you can take your blends. So I'm doing the dark berry bushel or blue, blueberry bushel, sorry. And you can color them. So if you don't have the money to buy, you know, the colored ones, you can just color them yourself. And sometimes there's, there's, a color that we don't have an embellishment for so this is perfect isn't that cool it does take a couple seconds to dry and if it smudges you just grab your marker and do it again Oop. and we'll do one in the middle no saggy middles So I used to teach group fitness classes at the Y here in Adams, and I would tell them, nobody likes saggy middles. Yeah, I don't know, I, I, I thought it was funny. All right, so we're just gonna take that and put it right down here. And here's our first card. Isn't that sweet? So it's kind of nautically, it could be for a man it could be for a woman. I mean, it could, could be for any anybody. There are several different sayings. So there's a warm hello because you're awesome, which we just used. Thank you. Smile today. Happy birthday. Celebrate. Thinking of you. Sending you. 
So there's there's a bunch of different options you 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 can use. All right, so here is card number one. Let's put that on the side. <coughs> card number two is where I'm going to show you this really cool trick with the Wink Stella. All right, but we are going to start right now with our bubble bath paper. I think it's called bubble bath. Yep, bubble bath. And we're going to fold this in half. Just very easy, simple. All right, then I cut out a piece of basic white cardstock. Now, if you choose to participate and get the free kit with with the qualifying order, I give you all the dimensions. So you do get a full tutorial with pictures and directions step by step on how to do this. So you can even take these cards and use different stamp sets. So you can use like the same basic layout and I give you all the dimensions for it. So those are always nice to have. All right, so then I have another piece of that bubble bath and I use this awesome embossing folder set. So there's three folders. I believe it's for $10. You get three folders. Very cool. There's a bubble. There's like some sketchy lines and then there's something else. I don't remember exactly what it is, but they're very nice. So I'm just going to take my stamp and seal. Put a couple strips on here. I probably didn't need to put so much, but all right, so I'll put that right there. Then we're gonna take a piece of basic white and I cut some of that designer series paper and we're just going to attach it right here on the center of the white. And I love the dots. It works perfectly with the dot embossing folder. All right, so we'll just attach this. This goes from top to top. Just gonna make sure we have even spacing on the sides. All right, then we're just going to attach it to here. So here in Adams, we have another beautiful day. It's a little chillier than yesterday, but such a beautiful day. So after I am done doing my card class, I plan on planting my, my garden. So excited. I love gardening. All right. So I have this ribbon. It is not in the catalog, but it is still available. So I double checked this morning. It is still available. It's that sparkly ribbon. Isn't that pretty? It has like little flecks of shimmer. I don't know if you can see it. Really pretty. So this was in our, our last catalog and it didn't carry over, but I do know that it is available. I double checked. All right. Hello, Linda. Nice to see you. All right, so we are just going to tie a bow. You could do a knot if bows aren't quite your thing. This is a pretty easy ribbon to work with because it is a little stiffer. I probably cut way too much. All right, so let's tie a bow. What is your favorite way to tie a bow? Do you do the bunny ears? Or do you do it like you're tying your shoe? Let me know. I'm just real curious. Just type in the comments. All right, so just straighten that out a bit. We'll move that up. All right, beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on our card base. And, of course, we're going to use dimensionals. So I use all of my dimensionals. I don't use just the cutouts. I use all of it. Because I do not like to waste. Just 
no reason to waste. Almost got it. All right, so we will attach this to our card base. Just like that. All right, so let's put that on the side and let's do some stamping. All right, so we are going to use this stamp. It has Celebrate. Again, lay it flat so it lays how it's supposed to. Pick it up with that, and we're going to use the blueberry bushel ink. Tap, tap, tap. And you try and center it as best you can. Just like that. Alright, then we are going to grab the cupcake that's in this set and some light taps, make sure we're covered, and we're going to put that right in the center, just like that. Alright, so the cool tip I'm going to show you. Let's hope it works again. All right, so you're going to take your Wink of Stella, and you are going to just kind of put it in the ink, in your ink pad. You just want very light. You want just enough to cover it a little. Now we're going to go over the frosting. So light movements, just kind of spread it out, and then you can go back and fill it in. So you get the ink color and you get the sparkle all at one time. So it works much like one, one of the blender pens. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you're going across just like this because that's the way the design is. So it looks like your frosting is just going over. All right, now to clean it, what I do is I take my chamois that you can get, just a couple circles, and it's clean. And we are done with that. Isn't that cool? I love the shimmer. Isn't that pretty? All right. And dimensionals. Add that. Oops. All right, and we'll add one more. Put this on our card. So we have a lot of sparkle on this card. That right about here and then we are going to add some more of these basic rhinestones so we will grab a few oh didn't come up there we go I love the take your pick tool and I love the new parts that they have All right, so we're going to take our blender pen and we are going to color them. So this comes out very light. So if you want, wait for it to dry and then you can go ahead and recolor it. But it gives it just a little bit. It kind of knocks off some of the silver and gives you a little more of that sparkly pink. Isn't that pretty? All right, so that is card number two. And on to card number three. This again is using 
the new colors in our new color groups. Part of our core colors. All right, so take our basic white, fold it in half, just like that. All right, we are taking parakeet. No, this is not parakeet. This is lemon lolly. I think that's what it's called. Oh, I'm sorry, lemon lime twist. So Lemon Lime Twist is one of the new core colors. So we're taking a piece of that, and then I cut out from the Designer Series paper. So one side of the paper has the little, like, tick marks, the little lines. Other side has hearts. The other Designer Series, because you get um, other designs, so in the same color you get the dots, and then you get the lines. All right, so let's take our stamp and seal. Add that to our card. Just right in the center. We don't want to put it on our card base just yet. So we're kind of giving a little accent of the yellow. Again, all the dimensions are in the tutorial. So if you would like the free card class, I do have the link and all the information there. All right. Just like that. Then we are going to take this really pretty ribbon. Now this ribbon comes in a two pack. So this is the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. So you get this really pretty petal pink color and then you get the green the lemon lime twist. So we're just going to put it right behind for your typo. Probably way more ribbon than I need it. like that and then we'll slide it over because I want it more on the side. So you just kind of fold your paper without bending it and it gives your ribbon a little more room to move. All right now we can take this and put it on our card base. So does anybody have a new favorite that's in the new catalog? Is there one stamp set that just really jumps out at you? I have several. <laughs> All right. So we have that. Now we're going to do some stamping. So we're going to take our lemon lime twist. And going to use the... Sending you now this is a perfect example of why I lay it down because it's thin it can get all kind of wonky when you're trying to put it on so what I do is I lay it flat and plop it on my block so I'm gonna juice this up and we will stamp this down I think it moved oh not too bad all right, sending you a, a, what do we want? Let's do a thank you. So let's find where my thank you is. Is this it? No. Sometimes when I can't read backwards, <laughs> I'll move this. Oh, here. It was this one. Goodness. All right. Find the block that fits the best. Juice it up. I'll put that right in the middle. 
Now you could go ahead and take your blending brush if you wanted and grab the yellow and just kind of put a little bit of yellow on here. Could do that. All right, and what you could do, and actually I think I'll do that because I think it might be kind of fun. So let me grab a scrap piece of paper. It was just scrap. I was working with the monkey stamp set earlier. So I'm going to take our dark lemon lolly. I'm going to take the brush part and we're going to flick. Flick some color on here just so it doesn't look so plain white. And you do this gently. because You don't want to ruin the tip of your marker. There we go. So see, you can kind of see some of the yellow. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's yellow specks, trust me. All right, so now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here. Okay. So being a demonstrator, we were able to pre-order some stuff and then it was lim very limited as to what you could get because they didn't want to be selling out of everything right away. So, gosh, I had so much fun picking out stuff. But they didn't have the colored gems because I couldn't get them. So that's why I decided to do this with the rhinestones. So we have a big one here. I'll put one here. In here and I'm going to take that lemon lolly again and color it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera but in person it really does change the color. All right <clears throat> here is card number three. So let's pull the cards out. So here are the three cards that we made. So in your kit, you will get the tutorial. You already have the video here. You will get to make two of each of these cards. You can get the kit for free. Again, I have all the directions on how to get that in this video in, in, in the description. Um, plus, you can also get the adhesive pouch. So that is there, and you can get them in pink, white, orange, or black. You just let me know what color you would like. Um, also, I just wanted to show you real quick. I do have a couple extra kits to make the class for tomorrow. So this is the Growth Takes Time. So this is one of the cards that we're making. Isn't that pretty? It's using that new Radiant Dyes awesome so you're gonna to get to make two of these you will get to make two of these isn't that pretty and two of these I love this die and then I just thought this was so sharp um, it's embossed so you could use any color embossing that that you'd want so the in-person class is tomorrow um, but I do have kits available for online. And in your kit, you also get a full pack of iridescent pearls and a full spool of Pool Party, this ribbon, brand new. Um, it's $25 in person, $35 for online. I can ship it to you. You do get the tutorial. Um, it is a little more because shipping has gone up isn't that fabulous <laughs> yeah it's like 60 something cents to mail a letter it's just crazy so unfortunately shipping has gone up so you will get all of this um, if there is anything that you have questions on on anything that I had done in the videos just shoot me a message and I will be happy to help you but again, I really hope you enjoyed these three cards. 
And I, that is all I have for you. So I will see all of you lovelies next week, Wednesday. All right. Have a wonderful rest of the day and God bless. Bye-bye.